ClearObject's IoT Core Migration Plan allows you to migrate your data from your existing IoT Core registry to a partner solution seamlessly and efficiently. If it's time for you to migrate your IoT software to another platform and you're feeling a bit overwhelmed by the process, don't stress, you have partners like us to guide you through with the tips and tools you'll need to get started so you can focus on what matters the most, getting value from your data. Key Components – IoT Core Migration These are the key components of an IoT Core Migration – Device Management Registry, Message Bridge or Broker, and IoT Core Device SDK. Before digging into the migration steps, here is a quick overview of the key components of IoT Core involved in a typical migration. Device Management Registry the registry includes a list of devices, their authentication details, and where data messages should be forwarded to. The Message Bridge or Broker. This is the service that facilitates moving messages into the cloud. MQTT and HTTP are the most common. MQTT protocol is usually utilized for IoT use cases, although some IoT solutions use HTTP protocol the IoT Core Device SDK. This software development kit determines how you will send messages to the cloud. It is a pre-packaged software that facilitates interactions from the device to the cloud IoT components. For IoT Core, this enables easier interaction with the IoT Core API from a device and facilitates sending messages to the cloud from a device. If you want to move away from IoT Core, here's what you need to do in the four steps required for migrating to an IoT Core alternative. Step one, choose an IoT platform. Step two, migrate the device management registry. Step three, deploy the new message broker. And step four, update the device software. Let's break these steps down. Step one, choosing an IoT platform. A simple solution would be the use of an off-the-shelf third-party SaaS product. Another option is installing an enterprise IoT platform in your environment. And a third option is working with an integrator for more custom deployments, where for instance, an MQTT broker or backup approach would be desired. Step two. The next step will be migrating your device management registry to the new partner solution. If utilizing a four like system to Google Cloud Platform's IoT Core service, the migration of metadata may be very straightforward and automated migration tooling may be available. For some partner solutions, this is a simple automated process that can be executed in hours. Utilization of an IoT platform that does not conform to IoT Core's registry structure may require additional effort. Step three, deploy the new message broker. If you are using a SaaS solution, you can skip this step because an MQTT broker will be part of that solution. But if you're using an enterprise or custom solution, you will need to deploy an MQTT broker and or HTTP bridge as part of an enterprise or custom solution. Step four, update device software. If utilizing a partner solution that uses the same API methods as GCP IoT Core, Updates on the device may be as simple as changing the URL endpoint for messages. Alternate connection libraries and code may need to be written for connecting to the new solution if the new solution's API uses different methods than GCP's IoT Core API method. Protecting your data. Tips for a smooth migration. Google's partner ecosystem offers best-in-class IoT platforms with strong data security features. When it comes to your data, it's best to be on the safe side. So here are some tips on ensuring the security of your data during the migration process. Always verify that data has been successfully migrated and backed up before moving to a new device registry solution. Ask your chosen partner for details about the security feature their solution provides. And finally, the only data that needs to be migrated is from the device registry. Existing downstream data stores will not be impacted by the migration. So how does this work? What is the process like? Depending on the complexity of the project, migrations can take anywhere from one to two months for simpler migrations and up to three to six months for larger custom efforts. 
The IoT core migration will happen in two phases. Phase one is the migration evaluation, and phase two is the IoT core migration delivery. Phase one, IoT core migration evaluation. We recommend starting with a discovery workshop led by ClearObject to work through your unique use requirements and determine an implementation plan. For a simple swap out to a similar SaaS offering, an evaluation phase may not be necessary. However, we do suggest considering an evaluation to ensure a successful migration. Phase one is typically a two to four week activity, and at the end, you will have an implementation plan and solution architecture. Phase two, IoT core migration delivery. Phase two includes the implementation of updated IoT solution components, migration of devices and configuration in the registry, device software updates, and validation and training. Small projects are estimated at one to two months of development effort. Medium to large projects can range from three to six months of development effort. So now that you have all the basic info you need to begin a successful IoT core migration, you're ready to get started with ClearObject. We're here to help make this process as easy as possible. To find out more information and or schedule a call, you can email ClearObject's IoT core team at iot at clearobject.com. We look forward to helping you find the best solutions to get the most value out of your data.